indeed. Now, here's a, an extraordinary story because she was abandoned as a baby, has cerebral palsy and is profoundly deaf. But Chile Grant Weatherall has overcome huge challenges thanks to the love and support of her adoptive parents from the New Forest. And Chile, who's now 15, is getting recognition for her talent as an artist. Brownie Leyland explains. The odds were stacked against Chile. Weighing barely more than two pounds, she was abandoned as a premature baby outside a Cambodian hospital in 2001. A few weeks later, James and Vic Grant Weatherall, who were living overseas and looking for a child to adopt, had a life-changing encounter. She was sitting in a dark corner of her orphanage with a mosquito net over her with no one really paying any attention to her. Um, we, we moved aside the net and she grabbed our finger. She did, and, <laughs> and, and did this tiny little smile, and something in both of us just completely melted. Tess showed Chile was profoundly deaf and had cerebral palsy. The specialist at the time said that she might not sit or stand or walk, maybe even sort of life, normal life things, feed herself and go to the loo and that sort of thing. Which so, was devastating. It was and, devastating. Um, you so, know, it was a very hard time, but you know, when you love someone, you just get on with it. Years of physiotherapy, love and determination have seen Chile defy expectations. Now living back in the New Forest, she enjoys an active life. Go on, Chile! Woo! Chile can't speak. Communication is through gestures, limited sign language and basic reading and writing. But there is nothing basic about Chile's ability to express herself through drawing. Self-taught, she creates works of art which are winning plaudits. In order to hold the paper down, she has to use one arm and then she grips the pencil and it is every single piece of her body she is using. She has the ability to be very, very gentle somehow and also, you know, very, very strong. Two of Chile's pieces were recently selected from 2,000 oh, entries awesome. by the Royal Watercolour Society for a major exhibition. The judges had no idea of her challenges. The art is, is something that I think she takes such great pride in now and um, she actually sees that what she's doing isn't just child's play. It's real pieces of art, works of art, which she's producing that people actually want. Sales of her pictures support her development. At this Forest Hotel, Chile's work side by side with the likes of Tracy Emin. We all are very capable of saying, no, I can't or I won't, or whatever, you know, when somebody asks you, or you're going to try something new, that would never cross Chile's mind. Whatever it might be, she will give it a go. And I think that's something for everyone to learn. Oh, she's so inspiring, isn't she? Wow. She really is, and she's a fantastically talented artist. My favourite's the lion, artist. I think. Beautiful, really beautiful really pictures. Wish her all the best for the future, that's Chile.